Hello guys, welcome to another video from UMR Tech. Today we rated, reviewed top 5 motherboards for the new Ryzen 7000 processors. The new AMD Ryzen 7000 processors are here, and for the first time in years, they require a new motherboard. AMD has finally bid farewell to the AM4 socket, which had served it well since 2016. Now, it looks to the future, introducing the AM5 socket, and with it, a slew of new motherboards for you to choose from. Right now, only the high-end X670 and X670E motherboards are available, but in a few weeks, the cheaper B650 boards will emerge. Below, you'll find some of the best AMD Ryzen 7000 motherboards to help you make use of your top-notch CPU. Number 1. Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme. This motherboard, which sits atop the Asus Ryzen 7000 motherboard lineup, has just about everything a high-end board should. You get access to Wi-Fi 6E, 10 gigabits per second Ethernet, a mass of different connectivity options, and a beautiful micro-LED display. It's flashy, it's massive, and it's the perfect cherry on top of a gaming desktop. The Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme is an overclocker's dream, with built-in AI overclocking profiles that optimize the CPU frequency and the speed in order to hit that sweet spot, alongside the dynamic OC switcher. It also supports AMD Expo for some DDR5 memory overclocking. There's plenty of room for extra storage, with two onboard M.2 slots and two X16 slots that support PCIe Gen 5, and you can reach up to 128GB of DDR5 RAM at 6400 MTPs, or more with an overclock. This is a high-end motherboard made for enthusiasts, and this is reflected in the price, but it will certainly help you make the most of your new AMD CPU. Number 2. ASRock X670 EPG Lightning. Priced in the $250 to $300 range right out of the gate, this motherboard is one of the cheaper AMD Ryzen 7000 boards out there, and it's still an X670E model. While it lacks some of the features of the ASUS we talked about above, it's still a good deal that doesn't cost a fortune. ASRock touts this board's optimized VRM design. This board supports PCIe 5.0 for both the graphics card and the M.2. It sports an 8-layer PCB design that was made with stability in mind, and it's accompanied by the latest smart power stage, SPS, technology for extra security and smooth power delivery. It's not as impressive in terms of ports, but there are still ports aplenty, including USB 2.0, USB 3.2, USB Type-C, HDMI, and DisplayPort 1.4. It supports 2.5 gigabits per second LAN for a speedy connection, and it'll help you overclock with a wide range of features. While much less flashy than the ASUS, it's a good option if you don't want to overspend. Number 3. Gigabyte X670E Aorus Extreme. This Gigabyte X670E Aorus Extreme board improves upon the flaws of the ASRock we've talked about above. It offers similar networking options to the, considerably more expensive, ASUS, with 10 gigabits per second LAN and built-in Wi-Fi 6E. Data transfer is made quicker, too, all thanks to rear and front USB-C 20 gigabits per second ports. This motherboard looks rather good, which may be important to some users and insignificant to others. It's hard to deny that the colorful LED screen on the front adds a little bit of shine to a case though. Gigabyte also ramps up the overclocking support with a strong 18 plus 2 plus 2 VRM design. You can overclock your memory with AMD Expo, but this also supports Intel XMP profiles. There are four M.2 slots for either the GPU or a solid-state drive SSD, and you'll be able to update the BIOS without even installing the processor, RAM, and GPU. Unfortunately, the audio hardware on this board is based on an older Realtek audio codec, but if you're willing to overlook that, this motherboard is definitely solid. Number 4. ASRock X670E Taichi Carrara. There's no accounting for taste, but this is definitely one of the best-looking AMD Ryzen 7000 motherboards we've seen so far. With its high-end look topped off with faux marble heat spreaders, it stands out from the usual RGB lit crowd, and it does so in style. This is both one of its perks and one of its flaws, it won't suit every build, but if it suits your style, it'll really make your desktop stand out. All the aesthetics aside, for a middle-of-the-pack price, as far as X670E motherboards are concerned, you're getting a lot of connectivity and power control. There are two USB 4, Thunderbolt 4 ports, 8 SATA 3.0 ports, 
and a single PCIe 5.0x4 M2 slot. Unfortunately, the LAN controller is only 2.5 gigabits per second as opposed to the 10 gigabits per second offered by some of the other boards here. The Taichi Carrara will do a good job of keeping temperatures and power consumption at bay with its 24 plus 2 plus 1 power phase and enlarged heatsink armor. You should be able to reach high overclocks on it without straining your build too much. So if you are enjoying this video then a sub to the channel will be amazing. Number 5. MSI Meg X670E Godlike. You've got your fancy GPU, you've got a beefy new Ryzen 7000 CPU, and now, you're shopping for a motherboard? Well, if your wallet can handle it, this is probably as good as it gets, but it's so very expensive that some people build a whole PC for the price of this motherboard alone. The MVision dashboard is where the fancy stuff begins. This is a fully realized 4.5-inch IPS LCD screen, complete with touch controls, that gives you a constant overview of the state of your PC. Your CPU is overheating? No problem, the dashboard will tell you. It'll also help you check the weather, turn off your PC, and monitor all your other hardware. It connects via USB, and you can stick it onto your case for easy controls. In terms of networking and connectivity, it's no surprise that MSI equipped this model with everything you could wish for. A total of 13 USB ports, a Wi-Fi 6E chip, onboard 10 gigabits per second LAN support alongside a 2.5 gigabits per second LAN controller. If only it weren't so expensive, this motherboard would certainly be one of the best motherboards we've seen for a while now. So which ones do you think there is any motherboard that we missed that you think should have been on the list? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you leave make sure that subscribe to the channel and turn notification, see you in next video.